So red here is kind of what people think of most often when they think of an axolotl. They're the most famous ones on social media and in video games and stuff. Uh, but her appearance is actually due to what would be in the wild a very rare mutation called leucism. Um, it basically deprives her of pigment in her skin on most of her body. And if we look close, if we look at her tail, it's kind of see-through. You can almost, you can actually see the veins in there. If you look at her gills, they're very red. That's because her skin, again, has no pigment. It is transparent, and you're just seeing the blood flowing through her gills. There's a lot of blood in the gills because that's what they use to breathe. So that's to process that oxygen. Now, the difference between loose, leucism, which she has, and true albinism, like an albino, is that leucistics can still have a little bit of pigment. And if we look close, she's still got dark pigment in her eyes, and she's got some dark pigment at the tips of her little fingernails. And this is a, this color type you would really never see in the wild because she is deprived of one of the um, main kind of traits that keeps them alive, which is their ability to camouflage and blend in. In the wild, pretty much all axolotls would look like Godzilla down here. They live in one lake in the world. It's a uh, kind of, you know, lake with a swampy bottom and his color pattern is gonna help him blend in perfectly to avoid predation.